Hello out there YouTube. Today we are taking a look at a, another knockoff. This is a smaller version of the Brave of Gold Goldran figure from uh, Takara. Um, and we start off in robot mode because honestly the dino mode is kind of crap, especially on this knockoff version. But I think the robot mode is really cool looking and totally justifies the, believe it or not, $6 I spent on this. Um, and definitely compared to the kind of quality you see in a lot of these uh, KO figures, this guy's great. I really like him. Um, first of all, just for size, here he is next to Deluxe Soundwave, so you can get a feel for uh, how big he is. And obviously the first thing that strikes you is all this shiny gold plastic. Um, and also not a lot of kibble, uh, which is very cool. Um, I'm sure the plastic is cheap and will disintegrate quickly, but you know, when you just look at him, oh man, very, a, a lot, a lot of punch. Very cool. Um, so overall, there's not a lot of posability in this guy. The head doesn't turn because of transformation. You'll see why we've got 360 shoulders, arm moves out, bicep swivel, and then there's an elbow bend. And that's pretty much all you get because the legs only do the classic Perceptor kick. Um, does have one accessory, which is his sword. Unfortunately not made of the same shiny plastic as his body. That would have been really cool. But does have a cool um, sort of uh, design here on the handguard that mimics the crest on his head. If you can see that. So that's kind of a cool cool little echo in the design. He holds it nice in his right hand. His left hand is too tight to really fit it in there, uh, at least on the knockoff version. I'm sure it's fine on the original. Um, and then it has this sheath, which plugs into his side skirt with just these two little nubs. And of course, you can just store the sword in it. Um, he's got these sort of missile launchers here. He does have the ever-popular knee cannons. Kind of silly. Um, it's funny how many toys actually had these, though, especially back in the day. On the chest, you'll notice a little detail. It looks like the back end of, the car, of a car. Uh, on the original figure, that's actually sort of a power master. It's a little car, turns into a guy, and then turns into a chunk, which plugs onto the uh, dragon mode and actually kind of forms the robot. For the knockoff, they just made a lump of plastic that looks like the back end of a car, complete with little wheels and everything. So, kind of sad, but it is what it is. Um, that's about it for robot mode, so let's do the transformation, which is not that complicated. Uh, you just pull up his neck, collapse in his head fins, Flip up the face into the mouth, um, rotate the feet around, then for the arms, which are really the coolest part of the transformation, you fold, fold them like this, turn them to the side, and then they fuse in with the shoulder guards like so. Um, and then at this point, it actually unplugs from the shoulder on each side and then rotates back. And you can see what's going to happen here. If you get them turned correct orientation, they plug together and form the tail. Of course, the fit on this really suffers from the KO process, but still, that's basically it. Um, flip around his little dragon dino arms and collapse the legs and there you go. Now of course on the original this wouldn't be there because it would uh, pop off and then these plates you can kind of flip up a little bit but on the KO that's about as good as the transformation gets. Again fit issues back here but still 
you can see he's got overall a nice kind of, you know, Mecha Godzilla look to him. Um, and really, it's pretty nice. Definitely nice enough to make me want to track down the original at some point. Um, one thing he's definitely missing is a lower jaw. It's just not present uh, on this figure, so the head ends up looking kind of a little freaky. Kind of reminds me of the fly a little bit, but anyway. Um, so that's it. And obviously you can see why we started in robot mode, because the dragon mode would not convince anyone to buy this at any price, but uh, I think it's worth it for the robot mode. And of course, what mechanical dragons complete without his, uh, without his shin lasers. Yeah, pretty awesome. Okay, so that's a look at this knockoff of Gold Ran. Obviously, go out and get the real version, but if you have a Tuesday morning, if you have a place that you can buy these carded knockoffs, um, like you saw in the intro, I say go out and grab them. He's definitely worth the six bucks compared to some of the um, shrunk down, you know, Scramble City combiner knockoffs, which are just horrible. Um, yeah. So, anyway, there we go. Thank you very much for watching, and take care until next time.